Hello guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we went around Karan Village a bit, we talked to some people, didn't really get too much information, saw a bunch of Psyche locks, then went down to the detention center, and we proved to Maya that she definitely isn't the murderer. And in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and head to Karan Village and see what else there is to do there, because we went there before, I uh, didn't see too much, but there's not really anywhere else for us to go, so we're just gonna head back there for now. Ugh! Ah! Hey, wait, please, Lotta! She ran off into the manor. Well, Lotta's someone new that we can talk to, so let's go ahead and... Uh, chase after her, I guess. There aren't too ma many places that she could have gone. So let's just run throughout. So let's just go through Maya's house and see if Lotta's here anywhere. Lotta! Ah! Uh, hey! I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. Lay your eyes on me and they'll, and they'll turn to dust. Ugh. Seems she's given us a real workout today. Wrong place. Oh, hey, Morgan. Yes, what is it? And must you be so noisy? We have a rule here. The hallway is not for running. Now then, in a calm manner, ask your question. Okay. Anyway, did you see Lotta come by here? Ah, that girl from the heartland. I'm sorry, but she did not pass by here at any time. Ugh, Lotta. You sure know how to waste a man's time. I didn't even know there was dialogue there, that's pretty neat. Anyway, she's not in the channeling chamber, and she obviously didn't run past us, so the only place she could have gone is through the winding way. And over to the side room. I'm pretty sure I saw Lotta run in this direction, but it doesn't look like she's here. Here's Pearl's ball that she was, uh, playing with at the time of the murder. It's Pearl's ball. Maya said it's always kept in the clothing box. So then, what is it doing on the floor? Speaking of which, the clothing box. This is something that's been mentioned a couple times. It's the clothing box where Pearl's ball is usually kept. I wonder what's inside. Ah! What? What were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person, just another human piece of trash. I needed a hole to crawl into. So you crawled into this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Ugh, man. Huh? There's a small hole in this clothing box. And it's about... 8 inches off the ground! That's the same height as the hole in the folding screen! Then... Could this... So one thing that I forgot to examine uh, previously is the urn. Let's go ahead and check that out. So there's a spirit in this urn, huh? Hmm. All I see are a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks. Huh. Looks like something's written on it. I am? Huh. Weird. So now with everything, I'm pretty sure we have all of the stuff we need to go break Pearl's Psyche Locks. And would you look at that, she's right here. Oh, Mr. Nick, that person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, the person with the fluffy cotton candy hair. Ah, uh, she means Lotta. She said, don't look at me with them eyes, but I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Oh. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Anyways, we're going to break your locks. Pearls' alibi. I keep saying Pearls', but it's Pearls. But Phoenix always calls her Pearls, so I'd say Pearls is because, you know, it distinguishes. 
Pearl, you have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Um, but what if I can't just tell you what happened? And then I'll guess what happened. How does that sound? Eh, you can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Y yes Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? You were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way. Wow! You got it! So, do you think you can tell me now? I I'm sorry. Not yet. Man, oh man. Alright, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. D do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? Like Maya mentioned, she was playing with that ball. You were playing with this ball, right? Ah, that's right! How... how did you know? Maya told me that you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh. And, and then? Something happened, huh? Something real bad. Well, uh, what do you mean, something? N -n -n nothing happened. And this is it. While you were playing with your ball, this happened. In this urn. It's a village treasure, right? Ah, um... And the spirit of the founder of the Karain technique is sealed in here, isn't it? Y yes What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get really mad, huh? She doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit the bullseye this time. But it's strange that the lock hasn't broken yet. It's... it's a really old urn, isn't it? Huh? It, it's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Her voice is shaking. How can you tell that urn has been broken? Well, on the front of the urn it says I am, but the person who's sealed in the urn is named Ami. Who started the Kurain channeling technique? Eh? Um, it was Mystic Ami. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I. <gasps> I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on the CERN. And that's when I knew that someone must have broken the CERN. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. Around when Mystic Maya started the channeling on that day, I was playing in the winding way, with my ball. And that's when you broke the urn? Y yes I broke it. I... I accidentally let Mystic Ami's spirit fly away. Don't worry. Morgan will never know, okay? I'm a bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together and that no one would notice? Yes. I found some glue and brought it to the hallway, and fixed the urn there. In the hallway? You mean winding way? Yes. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm, I see. So about how long did it take you? Must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I might be strong at spiritual things, but when it comes to arts and crafts, I'm not nearly as skilled. When I finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lada and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um... 
Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm going to get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I bet Mr. Gummy's happy to be free from that cramped urn. Y yeah I hope so. No harm done, and a happy resolution. Whew. So yeah, happy ending there. Uh, we still don't have enough to break Eni's locks, so let's head back to Karine Village for now. Whew, I think I found everything I can, but I can't see how they all add up. Hmm. Hey. Hey. And is any Miney being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How is it that the spirit Dr. Gray wanted to call just happened to be that nurse? And that nurse turns out to be Eni's sister. It's too... convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. I wish I knew a little more about Eni. But where am I going to find info like that? Oh, I get it. Can't be bothered to look at trash like me. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ugh, water. Oh, so you finally noticed. I thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, although I couldn't understand a word. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump, lump one around like this. Um, thanks? But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What are you- what are you going on about? And as for following or chasing or whatever it is, isn't that what you're doing? Um, well, you say... Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with the latest heart, are you? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. Look, I'm real dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really badly, Lotta. Um, I don't suppose you could forgive a guy like me. Okay. Forgiving her is the nice thing to do. But she is 0-2 for giving testimonies in murder trials where it's someone really close to us who we're trying to get off for not guilty. Uh, honestly, I feel like don't forgive her is probably the one that makes more sense. But forgive her is the nicer thing to do. I'll go ahead and uh, put up on screen a uh, text from the Ace Attorney wiki saying what's said here. Uh, so go ahead and check that out, link in the description. Let's forgive her. Well, I guess. You did help my out too, after all. For real? Yeah, for real. Ah, thank goodness. I'm still... I'm still... what? N no, 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 nothing, nothing at all. Just talking to myself, you know, gibberish. Now then, lot of heart at your service. I'll share with you all the dirt I've dug up. Th thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. Tell you what, I'll even give you this info for free. Lot of not taking money? Now I know this one's an alien clone. Ugh. If Maya's not the real murderer, then who do you think it is, Lotta? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? It's that occult freak! You mean any Miney? Well, there ain't anyone else that could be, right? That granny, you and me, we were all together that whole time. There's a lot of suspects Eenie. Which means she might have already found some info about our mysterious Eenie. So for this one you have to go ahead and present Eenie's profile. She won't just tell you outright. It's a bit of a weird process, but... Heh, <laughs> that's Eenie Miner, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this girl. You know, actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister. She's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I heard it as much. I had also heard that Eni was the one to introduce Dr. Gray to the Karine village. You don't say. That's one sneaky gal if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? Yes, please. Now we can talk to her and actually get some info. Speaking of Eni, do you have any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? Ha <laughs> ha. It'll cost you, and it'll cost a lot. Oh, silly me. Here I thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized? But why? 
Well, heck, you go. You can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find out about something. Maybe. What's that supposed to mean? Well, see, actually, it was gonna be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. Ugh. Well, that's the way the gumbo spoils, right? Spoiled gumbo sounds... Ugh. I mean, look, don't blame this on... Oh, never mind. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check out this hottie clinic. Ugh. Everyone who's played this game before, or the subsequent game in the series, knows about the hottie clinic, and everyone's fearing about going here. Hottie clinic reception. So, this is where Eni was hospitalized. Oh, God, what voice do I give you? Hmm, yes. Are you here to visit a patient? Hmm. Uh, yes. Are you a doctor here? Hmm, yes. I'm Dr. Hardy. <laughs> ah, I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Hmm, yes. So, what can I help you with? Ah, uh, huh? I'd like to ask you a few questions about Miss Eeny Miney. Hmm? Miss Eeny Miney? Miss Eeny Miney. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Oh, her. Ah, it's too bad. I'll tell you something. That girl left here a long time ago. Uh, here you are, sir. You know you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. Ah, sweetums, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh on an old man like me. Don't you stare... Don't you dare start that sweetums thing with me. If you don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of the hospital. Wow, didn't think nurses could be this direct or forceful toward their boss. Come now, be a good boy and give me the director's white lab coat. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Hmm, yes. Um. Hmm, yes. Uh-huh. Don't hmm, yes me. Who in the world are you? I'm Director Hari. <laughs> The nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the inhumanity. The only person I can talk to is this guy. Ugh. So first, let's examine around the place. Put off talking to this guy as much as possible. This must be the waiting area. It's got the feeling of one, and there are sofas lined up. But I don't see all that many patients. Hmm, yes, well, it's the quality, not quantity, that counts, uh-huh. What in the world does that have to do with anything? I'm trying to just give this guy the worst voice I can possibly do. I wonder where that doorway down there leads to. Oh, that's the x-ray room! Hmm, yes! How, how did you know what I was thinking? Hmm, yes, well, it's because that's the x-ray room. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes. There's something very peculiar about this guy. Because I know it's not me. patient is undergoing rehabilitation. And look at that strained face, twisting in all those ways, that oily sweat, hmm. His whole body is swaying back and forth, wobble wobble, like he's about to fall, hmm, yes. Hey, don't just cut into my monologue like that, I'm explaining things here. Ah, sorry, hmm, yes, most sorry, yes, uh -huh. This is the clinic's reception desk, but it doesn't look like there's anyone at the counter. On the walls this month's word to the wise. Do something in vain and your only reward is tiredness. Hmm. Not exactly the best thing to be telling your patients, is it? Uh... Let's go ahead and try talking to him. So what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Hmm, yes. We've all tr we treat all sorts of doctory clinical stuff. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes. Doctory clinical stuff? Well, I don't actually know or particularly care about the details. Ho <laughs> ho. Mm hmm, yes. What does that look for? Ah, yes. There's a really big general hospital around the corner. Hmm, <laughs> yes. When they can't accommodate everyone, they move some of their patients here. <laughs> you do surgeries here. You do surgeries here, right? Hmm, yes. We do some pr plastic surgery here, it seems. Hmm. It. Seems. Hmm, yes, uh huh. It seems that way. What do you know about Missini Miney? Now you're talking! Hmm, 
yes, that girl. She was transferred from the General Hospital. In the General Hospital? To here? What kind of surgery did she need? Hmm, yes, well, she needed surgery. It was really bad. Really bad. So, what kind was it? Hmm, yes, well, no, no, you see, I, that is something... No, I can't tell you. So you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. It's in all those TV shows too, right? You've seen them, right? Hmm, yes? I'm never going to get him to unzip those broken zipper teeth of his, of his at this rate. There's got to be something I can show to this old coot. Hey, buddy, I'm a lawyer. This is actually one of those times where presenting our attorney's badge is useful. Hmm, what's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now I'm investigating a murder. Hmm, hmm, yes. What is with your angry face? Violence isn't the answer. Hmm, yes. The trial is tomorrow. I would really like some information from you. Hmm, is that right? Well, you know, I think I can let you in a little secret. What's that? Hmm, yes, actually. I'm not really the director. Are you kidding? Anyone with half a fly's brain knew that. Eh? What do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Hmm, well, hold on, I'll give you something. Real information, okay? I'm actually, this clinic's seem like this place is walk walking dictionpedia. You mean walking ency encyclopedia? Yeah, that. And my special is this mu is the Ugh. Yeah, that. And my speciality is in young, silky, smooth, haughty patients. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. Yeah. How about you keep that kind of information to yourself? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Anyway, you wanted to know about Miss Eeny Miney, right? Miss Eeny Miney? That girl. Oh, I remember her we especially well. Really especially very well. I don't even have anything to say. It's just... Horrible. Please tell me what you know about Eeny Miney. Hmm, yes, I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl. That's right. She was transferred here from the General Hospital. That was, hmm, yes, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? No, no, no. She was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see. Yep, I could see it was a huge wound at that. A huge injury. Her whole body was wrapped around and round in bandages and her arm was in a cast. That sounds... pretty severe, all right. Hmm, yes. It was an accident. An accident. They're scary, yes? Cars, hmm, yes. Car? You mean it was a traffic accident? Yes. Yep. That's what gave her that ter those terrible injuries. I swore that it was in the papers, hmm? Yes, I looked it all up, I did. It was terrible, hmm, yes. Dare I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? Just now, you mentioned something about a big operation. Hmm? Are you talking about Messini's operation? Y yes Messini's. That! Ah, that was one heck of an accident. Hmm, yes, her whole face was burned like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? Hmm, it was a good thing that Messini had a picture of herself. I heard that the picture was how they put her face back together, hmm. Picture? That girl, see? She had, ah, uh, she had just gotten her license. So she had just happened to have a license photo on her, hmm, yes. Oh. So see, I got her picture as a way to remember her, yes. Well, more like swiped. Um, breach of ethics? Oh, wait. <clears throat> What? What? A pretty girl like her? But she has lots of pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows? I didn't bother to ask. It probably got burned up alongside the car. <laughs> yes. Um, so you looked up information on Nini's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Hmm, yes. I read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it? 
Do you remember? Hmm, yes, hold on. I'll go get it for you. The article, I mean. But, huh? You have it? Well, 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 don't get me wrong. I thought something like this might come up, so... Obsessive to the max. But I bet I could learn about how to stay on the lead from this guy. Ah, here we go, here we go. Hmm, yes. According to this, Miss Eni was in the passenger seat. In the passenger seat, huh? And dozing! Or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up, and the next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Miss Eni fought with the door, finally got it open, and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details in the article, hmm, yes? A new clue! I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since Miss Missini got her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Hmm, yes. So how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Hmm, yes. Y yes Thank you very much. Hmm, yes. Well, then I'll be getting back to my room, then. Tell Missini I said hi, okay? Hmm, yes. It's time for me to leave, too. Hmm, yes. Ah! Okay, it's definitely time for me to leave. Thank God that's over. I don't know if he returns at any point in this game, but he is a recurring character in the series for some reason. And he's just the worst. Anyways, uh, we've been going on for a little long here because we've had to talk to that guy, so thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and get as far away from here as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!